Humans are now spread across all corners of the globe. But what's the next step? According to the head of the British Interplanetary Society, they could be living in space colonies in as little as two decades' time. And life in space would be good, with people growing taller and even living longer than their counterparts left on Earth. Jerry Stone, head of the British Interplanetary Society, told The Independent that these colonies would, would consist of a vast rotating hollow cylinder which would create gravity for people living on board. Although it might sound a far-fetched. Mr. Stone believes they could be up and running in 20 years' time. Mr. Stone said it depended on private space companies developing cheap space travel in the coming years. If we were to say start in 10 years' time, we could potentially have this up and finished in 20 years from now, which is pretty amazing, isn't it? He told The Independent. He believes we even had the technology to start on it 40 years ago. If we were to do this now we could probably do it far more efficiently than back in the 1970s. That's why I started this project at the British Interplanetary Society, he said. Speaking ahead of the British Science Festival lecture, Mr. Stone said space colonists would build solar panels to provide power on Earth. A space settlement would be a large structure, comparable in size to a town or small city, built in Earth orbit. It would have similar amenities and services to towns and cities on Earth and would enable people to live in space. The islands currently houses six astronauts at a time, but a space settlement would have hundreds or thousands of people on board. Future space settlements may also have artificial gravity by rotating around an axis. On the International Space Station, people are completely weightless and that's not what we want. For most of the time, the colonists will be working and living under simulated gravity, which will be much better for them health-wise. The BIS has been in contact with Rotham's did agricultural research about space crops that could feed people in the colonies. When you are building a space settlement, you are also involved in a huge range of topics, such as town planning, housing, offices, administration, parkland and so forth. Agriculture ecology is a huge thing, he said. The team are still undecided about exactly what form these colonies will take. There are other designs for a ring-shaped colony and the cylinders could be 4 miles in diameter and 20 miles long, Mr. Stone said. They could hold up to 10 million people.